season is in full bloom as temperatures continue to rise in Region 8. But if you plan on having a rummage sale in Jonesboro, know that registration is required or you could face a fine. Today I spoke with City Code Enforcement about the do's and don'ts when it comes to yard sales in city limits. Getting rid of old blankets, bird cages, or record players. If you want to have a yard or garage sale in Jonesboro, residents can only have four a year. If you have two garage sales on two consecutive days, that's considered one. There's no problem promoting your garage sale with a sign like this posted in grass, as long as they are no bigger than four square feet. But the city's code enforcement director, Scott Roper, said signs are not allowed on anything government-owned. We would ask you not to put any... Um, signs on telephone poles, uh, city street signs, directional signs are fine, um, you know, at, at corners and, and trying to get people to the right address. Residents can fill out the online registration form or call code enforcement at 870-933-4658. Whether it's one house or a neighborhood event, Roper said the city needs to know at least two days prior to the sale to hopefully stop traffic before it happens. We would like to know where they're at and keep up with it. It also, um, if, if there's going to be traffic issues, we can let the police department know that this is, you know, could be an issue here. No consignment goods may be offered for sale and all signs must be picked up once the sale is over. Roper says if you break the rules, you'll have to pay the price. If you fail to register, you know, you are subject to um, fines. You can find the online yard sale registration form on our website at kit8.com. This also includes garage and carport sales.